Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 3. Hope you're all doing well today and looking forward to today's episode where we've got a mixture of good and bad news, which we'll talk about in just a moment's time. We'll start off though with what's happened since you were last here. Since you were last here for the Rail Sporting Gahan draw and the Alaves draw, we have played six games, three league games, two cup games and one friendly. Going in order, we started things off against Villarreal B, a 2-0 victory there in the league before we took on a team in the division below us in the cup and won 2-1 with Raul Jr. getting a brace in that game. He played so well the police are coming to arrest him now. That's how good he was. The following game in the league, the final game before the winter break, we took on Rayo Vallecano, a team that stole Juan Diaz offers and we put them in their place by winning 3-0. The criminal thing about this is, I just checked him out, Juan Diaz moved to Rayo Vallecano, has not played a single game this season. It's 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 heartbreaking. Following that, we played Cadiz B in a friendly, not really fussed about that one too much. We drew 0-0, so, you know, fair enough. We came back from winter break and lost 1-0 to Barcelona B. Obviously, they're a very good team. They're ahead of us in the table, but they are a B team, so they can't get promoted so it's not too much of a big issue then being ahead of us in the table but of course you always want to beat everyone and then the last game we just played was against El Ejido in the Copa del Rey again again a team below us in the tables so a routine victory there with Raul Zabalaga picking up a hat trick today we're going to play Cadiz uh, the main Cadiz team and Elche as well which would be good fun we have got a Copa del Rey third round fixture against Ibiza in the middle of those two but again they're a divisional two below us actually uh, so it should be a routine victory so we'll play that one off camera Right, on to the good news. Uh, the youth intake preview came through, and whilst it's not quite as good as the previous season's youth intake preview, it still looks pretty decent with lots of green on there and hopefully some decent players coming through. The next bit of good news revolves around Raul Zabalaga. Remember last time we offered him a contract he wanted like £3,500 a week? Well, now he doesn't want £3,500 a week. We've got him hopefully signed up to a contract on two and a half thousand pound per week the only downside of his contract is i forgot to lock in what i wanted for his minimum fee release clause when i suggested terms they negotiated back and limited it to one million pounds if he does sign a contract with us it's going to have a one million pound minimum fee release clause so we could easily lose him unfortunately the downside to this all is is that athletic bilbao also want him as well which i'm a little bit confused about because raul zabalaga i don't think has basque national oh he does have basque nationality i've just checked this out he does have basque nationality so can play for athletic bilbao so i've gone back in there uh, i've offered him a bit more money per week to actually stay with us but he's not accepted us yet he's not accepted athletic bilbao yet but you'd imagine he'll probably go to Athletic Bilbao. So that's all the news to sort of talk about, I think, in between episodes. That's happened. That's the sort of the big stuff. As you can see, we now are in January. However, I'm not planning on making any signings because, well, quite frankly, if we look at the uh, the what we're looking at, the, the overall bank balance, we've got minus £600,000 in the bank and we are overspending on wages right now. So we can't afford anyone. The biggest issue about overspending on wages right now is because players become available with six months left on their contract and you can offer them contracts, because we're overspending on wages, we can't offer them contracts because the board don't think we've got enough money. So this January a couple of players might need to be offloaded. So sorting this by appearances in the club, there are a couple of players that I'm thinking we need to get rid of. The first one being Unai Zabala. He's not really developed into the player we thought he was going to. His average ratings have been pretty poor when he has played. So I feel like Unai Zabala, he's got to go. And I think we could make a bit of money off him. So transfer offered to club. He's also on 1.8 grand per week in wages. A lot of money per week in wages. So ideally, we get him off ASAP. We're going to offer him for unspecified right now because I just want to get him gone for anything at the moment. So offer to clubs and see who wants him. Another player that I think we could be letting go of. He's only got six months left on his contract anyway, but Julio Iglesias. He's just not really played at all this season. We signed him thinking we might use him. And we, well, we haven't used him, basically. He's not a really good shooter either, so there's no real loss there. He's not played brilliantly well. So Julio Iglesias, again, transfer offer to clubs, unspecified, transfer list him. Please, someone buy him. So hopefully we'll get some offers from those players during today's episode. That would be great. This is the lineup that I want to play against Kadith, and it does look a little wacky, this formation. I've taken our flat back five and move these guys to wing-back positions. You may have seen on the tactics screen, or the, yeah, the schedule, sorry, that we did change formations a few times in between episodes to experiment with a few things. And this seems to work relatively well. So, Gonzalez is in goal today because uh, De Kene is currently playing for Mali in the African Cup of Nations. So he's going to be away for quite some time, potentially uh, until the middle of February. So, 
Gonzalez has got a time to shine right now. Our young keeper that we signed over summer, 19 years old. He's got five-star potential, so has got loads of stuff to give to us. So hopefully we'll be really, really good and, you know, play really well. So Gonzalez getting a shout and a chance in goal today with a backline of Dominguez, Cesar and Cajinde. Diego and Diego Garcia start in the wing back roles with Cipollina and John through the middle with Timo Wolf, Zabalaga and JD Meekin leading the line. So as kickoff is upon us here today, there's a highlight straight from kickoff and that's not usually what happens. So there's going to be a big chance for someone at the start of this game. Hopefully it's for us, although Kadith do maintain possession right now as they look to bring it into our half, but they are passing it around with a bit of risk and they have lost possession. Timo Wolf now on the ball, not really doing anything with it. Gets it out to Diego, the wing back this time. Diego loses possession immediately. Okay, I'm not sure who the goal is going to come to in this highlight, but I feel like there's going to be a good chance for someone, maybe us, as we have one possession back. Timo Wolf driving forward and then he stops, plays it into Meekin and Meekin nearly scores. So obviously no goal for no team there. Obviously a highlight, a very good highlight for us at the start of the game. If we can keep doing that all game, that would be superb. Immediately afterwards though, there is a highlight from a goal kick. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the game. Both teams obviously starting this off very, very well with some key highlights right at the start of the game. Khadif passing it round the back quite nicely and looking to come forward with the ball. With a bit of pace, they're getting it forward, passing it nicely. It's a great ball forward. How have we not won that? And it's a good save from Gonzalez. If Gonzalez didn't get there, that was a certain goal for Khadif. So both teams having good opportunities in the opening few minutes of the game. Although this highlight is continuing and I'm a little bit concerned. I thought I was about to finish that highlight because, okay, it has done now. But there's another highlight straight away. What is going on? We're giving the ball away stupidly. Four minutes into this game. It's been a highlight a minute pretty much so far. And still, still no goal. Ha I'm not quite sure how that's not gone in the back of the net. But it, it hasn't. Free kick for us now. Five minutes into the game. What is going on? Highlight after highlight. We are on key highlights, right, aren't we? Just key. We're on key highlights. I mean, all of these seem pretty key so far. There are plenty of opportunities for both sides so far as Dio Garcia back to Cesar, forward towards Meeks, can't get it onto his noggin, unfortunately, as uh, Kadith looked to build out from the back, uh, slowly but surely getting that ball forward, finding space for their players. Good, oh, Diego's not intercepted that. He should have done, and Gonzalo's forced to make another good save. He's been really, really busy so far, and I'm a little bit concerned about that. As a corner is swung in, and Gonzalez, again, another great save. Right, can we calm? We can't calm down now. 10 minutes into the game, this must be like, the, what, the 10th highlight nearly, as Cesar into John. John into the middle. Meeks can't win it in the air. And Khadid, I'm getting tired just talking right now. Blimey, this has been a mental game so far. We had more highlights in the first 10 minutes of this game than we have done, I think, in most of the games in the past, like, 10 episodes or so. 15 minutes on the clock now. Another highlight. Blimey. This is good. This could be a long episode. You know, maybe a 40-minute episode just for this one bloody game at this rate. Timo Wolf coming forward. Can we finally score a goal? No. Don't show me highlights now unless there's a goal, please. Oh, 17 minutes in, another highlight. How many of these are there going to be? I'm not, I might even cut some of these out. I don't know. You might not have seen all the highlights I've seen because I might have cut some out as Meeks gets out wide into Dio Garcia, into Zabalaga, who's gone down. Referee penalty. No penalty given. Diego now on the ball gives it away. Diego's been pretty poor so far today, I must say. Cesar, good interception. Clearance is not so good, though, as Kadith are forward and Kadith still can't score. Can I breathe now? Can I can't even breathe now. Another one. 23. How many highlights have there been? I've literally lost count now of how many highlights there have been. And are Kadith finally going to score this time? No, they're not. Oh, you've got to be joking me. 24 minutes now. J j how many highlights? And again, no one's scoring. Just, oh, this is getting infuriating. Oh my goodness gracious. We've just gone 10 minutes throughout the game without a highlight. 15 minutes throughout the game without a highlight. Are we going to get to half time now? We're, we're about... We've got to half time. Oh my god. And after all of that, it's still bloody nil-nil. I mean, what a bloody boring first half. I can guarantee you now there'll be nothing in the second half. Nothing in the second half at all. As we get to the 60th minute, not a single highlight so far. Let's try and make some changes. Let's get Meeks off the pitch for Raul Jr. Let's get Michael Cipollina off for Scott Marshall. And let's get Dominguez off for Joshua. Confirm those substitutes. Let's try and win the game as there's a highlight just as soon as we make substitutes. This is not quite so good as Cesar clears. Is anyone going to win that? No, no one goes to try and win that for us, unfortunately. Raul Jr. 
trying to inject a bit of pace and energy up front is not really doing that right now, unfortunately, as Khadith miss again. I can't believe this game is going to end up 0-0. This game is literally going to end up 0-0 right now, isn't it? Unless Diego throws it to Scott Marshall. Back to Diego in the middle. Zubalaga's there. Raul Zubalaga breaks the deadlock. His 13th goal of the season. And will that goal convince him that he wants to stay at Lincoln Redims? I hope it does. He's been our player of the season this year, Raul Zubalaga. He's been so, so good and consistent. Really pleased with him so far. And can we get a second goal to confirm the three points today as John on the ball? Come on, do something clever. That's why I've not been playing you recently because you do things like that and you're not very good as it turns out. John, back on the ball though, forward to absolutely no one again. Why are we playing you? We shouldn't be. Yes, you are technically the best player in the squad, but you're not playing like it. So we need to probably get him back out there again and maybe even bring Julio Iglesias back on, even though we are trying to sell him. Maybe not the best idea in the end. We'll see if any bids come in for him as Khadith looked to come forward. Diego, very good interception there as he wins the header. And Raul Jr. gets on the ball there, intercepts it nicely. Raul Jr. can't score. Timo Wolf back in the middle. Raul Jr. can't score again. Zubalaga, can he get it back in the middle? He can't, but Diego Garcia gets it back into Zubalaga. Zubalaga, Raul Jr. fouled in the area. Penalty. How is that not a penalty? We've had a few penalty shouts this game and uh, we've not been given either of them, which is rather frustrating. And if Khadith score now and level things up, I'll be very, very cross as the ball forward is good. Gonzalez, oh my goodness gracious me. You are challenging Dekene Gonzalez. You know, if Dekene comes back and doesn't play well, we know we've got a very, very good keeper in Gonzalez. He has played a blind today, actually, I must say. Gonzalez has done extremely well. We should check out how many saves he's made in this game, but literally... This game has taken so long to get through as Raul Zabalaga seals the victory for us. Uh, but it's literally taking me. I'm going to have to cut some bits out. I think it has taken 15 minutes to get through this game. But actual real life time, 15 minutes. I can't believe how long this game has gone on for. I don't think I've ever sat through a game on key highlights that's been as long as this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and for only two goals as well is mad. As Timo Wolf scored 3-0 to us. Who would have thought that? Not me, not this guy. So out of nowhere, uh, we won the game 3-0. Really good stuff there. Three points on the board, very pleased. Right, where is he? Where is uh, Marty Gonzalez? History, no, it's, I wanna see his form. His form, he got an 8.2 last game as he made seven saves in that game. Not bad. Right, as I say, this Ibiza game is going to be off camera, especially now that the game took so long. This one is definitely going to be off camera, otherwise this video will be far too long, as no one wants to sign Julio Iglesias and no one wants Unai Zabala. We might just have to offer them both out for like a thousand pounds or something like that and hopefully hopefully someone will buy them for a thousand pounds or that's that's my hoping at least it's more the wages that i want to get off our wage bill more than anything else i'm not too fussed about making money off the transfer i just want to get their wages away from us julio iglesias is wanted though uh transfer offer to clubs i mean maybe let's start at like 10 grand and see if anyone clubs try 10 grand same with Unai Zabala clubs want Unai Zabala two Hayen and Salamanca want uh, Unai Zabala offer to clubs again let's start at like 10 10 grand see if anyone wants him ah and straight away a club have offered 10 grand for Unai Zabala uh we'll, we'll take it we'll take it I think let's get him gone no offers for Julio Iglesias though so again transfer offer to clubs let's go down to like five thousand pounds for this one. Oh, you hate to see it i did think it would happen raul zabalaga is going to athletic bilbao uh they're paying four and a half grand a week that's more than we could obviously pay so i i understand why he's gone there oh you hate to see it oh and the board are now blocking a deal for unai zabala to leave the club they think that we can get more money for him um we can't get more money for him i know we can't uh let's can, we, can you reconsider blocking it please after discussing things, we agree with you. Brilliant. So Unai Zabala will now leave the... Will he? Oh, I didn't read that fully. I didn't read that fully. I thought they agreed with me. Has he been sold? Unai Zabala. Is he? What's going on here? Bids. 10 grand. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I guess we'll just sort of wait and see. Um, I'll, I'll find out in editing what happened there because I, I don't know what happened. So I'll, I'll watch the editing back. Carlos Domingo has fractured his leg. 
I'll be, we'll send to a specialist, but I'll be honest with you, Carlos Dominguez, I've got some bigger problems than you breaking your leg. Can you not do that, please? Right, I've got this Ibiza game right now. I'm going to play it off camera, so I'll see you afterwards. So maybe I should have shown that game on camera. Uh, we were 2-0 down at halftime in the Copa del Rey, and then we scored three in the second half, including a 90th minute plus two goal from Raul Zabalaga to round off the victory. So very lucky in that game. We did play a very rotated lineup, though, as you can see. So kind of understandable that we weren't doing so well in that first half. But we are into the fourth round for the first time since we lost to Real Madrid back in 2023-24. So this is our best cup run for a while. Again, though, we are particularly lucky. We've not had anyone decent in the cup so far. So that kind of explains where we are going so far this season. Atletico Salaqueño want Robbo on loan until the end of the season. I tell you what, I'm tempted by that. Salaqueño are currently sitting, where are they? They're the division below us, aren't they? Second, oh, we're not in the division below us. They're two divisions below us but they want him to get promoted. If he plays every week, I'm happy to let him go because he's not playing every week for us so far. If we make him an important player, I reckon we let him go and play every single week. We're sort of moving to more of the wing-back system this season. We're moving to that a little bit more and that takes away from the CDM role that we have been using Robbo in. So I'm kind of happy to let him go on loan for the rest of the season come back to us a better player and we have been drawn against the actual Celta Vigo we've played the B team quite a few times and beaten their B team quite a few times but now we've been drawn in the fourth round of the Copa del Rey against the actual Celta Vigo that will be a very interesting game to play so for today's second game against Elche uh, the lineup I don't think is changing from the first game Ethan Brito is coming into centre back because of course Dominguez is injured and we've not really got anyone else who can play there although can Zarate play wing back Zarate can play wing back, so maybe Diego's a better bet at centre back instead. Either way, let's sit the team, let's go for it, get another win. So, as kickoff is upon us, hopefully, this game will have less highlights. Though, two minutes into it, there is another highlight. Just one highlight for one goal for us, that's all I want to see. Let's win the game 1 0 through the only highlight of the game, and Timo Wolf oh, can't do the business. Oh, this is going to be another highlight heavy game, isn't it? Three minutes in, another highlight in this game. I'm getting concerned now. I just want this episode to be short, sharp, and snappy, and it's not going to be that. It's going to be a very long episode today, as Dio Garcia, this time Timo Wolf does finish off the move. Four minutes on the clock. You love to see it. Now, please, can we just get through the rest of the game and win it? No, apparently not, because 50 seconds later, oh my goodness gracious me, there's another highlight. There were quite a few, obviously, in the game against Ibiza because there were five goals in it. I just, I just want to get through a game in, like, a reasonable amount of time. Luckily, the highlights are not coming through thick and fast for the rest of this first half, though another one has just come across. Uh, we haven't scored from the corner. Instead, Elche racing forward, looking to get a goal themselves as Zarata makes a huge challenge there. Fantastic from him, but not really getting the clearance well. This time, the clearance is good, and Timo Wolf comes away with the ball, fouled, surely. Apparently not fouled as Elche come back towards us, looking to score a goal, getting the ball out wide. I feel like this is going to be a goal coming from this one because the highlight has been going for so long. No, it's a penalty instead, which is worse. So as we approach half-time, uh, the score is 1-1. Not ideal for us, obviously. Can we get one just before half-time? That would make life a lot easier for us as the outgoing Raul Zabalaga passes it to the opposition. Not ideal. We do win possession back, but give it away straight away again. So maybe a goal for LJ coming. Raul Zabalaga. I've kind of tried to block it out of my head a little bit. I don't want to accept it's happening as him giving possession away gifts out chair goal 12 months ago in game 12 months ago uh, we got a two million pound bid for him but i rejected it because we just lost juan diaz at the end of the sea of that coming to the end of that season so i thought let's keep rousa balaga instead and i regret not selling him for two million pounds obviously but what he has provided us is a platform he's been the best player this season he scored the most goals he's you know, had the most goal contributions as well. He's provided us a platform where over halfway through the season, we are still in a chance of playoffs to get to La Liga. So without him, I don't think we would be there. So with a lot to thank Raul Zabalaga for, I don't know if we should have sold him for £2 million down the line. I don't think we would have got a better player in than Raul Zabalaga. So it's a difficult one. It's really difficult. I'm not entirely sure if it's the right decision to have made 12 months ago. But I don't think we'd be in this position where we are right now without him. So 
I don't know. I mean, you guys in the comment section told me I should have sold him are going to be laughing right now at me. Uh, I'm getting probably quite cross as well that I didn't sell him, maybe. I don't know. But I think keeping him was the better idea, I think. We got another 18 months out of him at least, and that has been really, really good for us as a club. Uh, unfortunately, not been very good for us in this game. But 99% of the time, he has been absolutely fantastic and given us a platform to progress. So I'm very happy as we've gone 3-1 down. Free kick for Elche again. They just are coming forward all the time now. And that's 4-1 to Elche. This is the worst result we've had all season I think now in terms of goals conceded so obviously not really ideal this result uh 4-1 down in the 90th minute can we grab a consolation goal no Meeks gives it away straight away unfortunately Cesar wins it back for us Cipollina on the ball into John John for to Timo Wolf who can't really do anything with it Zarate let's just get a consolation goal to help out our goal difference just a little bit we don't want to be losing 4-1 Meeks I think was offside there anyway, but doesn't score, so it doesn't matter. So there we go. We've lost that one 4-1. Uh, the less said about that game, the better. I said the wrong thing in the team talk as well. That's so frustrating. Uh, obviously, next episode, as you can see, uh, we're going to go straight forward to the... Oh, we've got a Celta Vigo double. We'll do Celta Vigo, the main team, and then Celta Vigo B. Both at home should be interesting games. I imagine we'll beat the B team uh, and get absolutely trounced by the actual team. But that'll be quite exciting, so look forward to that one next time out. Of course, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do drop a like on it for me and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.